How is it going everybody? You're watching Danibal Tech and in this video I'm going to teach you how to set any song, absolutely any song, as a ringtone or a text tone for your iPhone. And the coolest things are 100% free, you don't need a computer, you're going to do all with your iPhone, there's everything you need and you don't need uh, jailbreak your device doesn't need to be jailbroken or anything like that it is super super simple one important thing is you will need to be updated to iOS 13 that's the only requirement uh, we need actually you can do this in iOS 12 but it's a little bit more complicated so in this video I'm gonna show you how to do that exclusively for iOS 13 which is super super simple so without further ado let's go ahead and begin Okay guys, so let's begin and all we need is GarageBand. That application right here, GarageBand, as you know, is an Apple application and it is 100% free, so don't worry about it. All you have to do is go to the App Store and down look for uh, GarageBand and then download it. So that's why I mentioned it is free. You don't need a computer, you don't need to, your device to be jailbroken because that's all you need. And of course, this song itself. Obviously, you need the song itself to make it work. So then you can set it as your iPhone ringtone. So uh, you can get the, the song in two different ways so if you have the song here uh, in your uh, Apple music library you can use it okay so uh, you can just get any song here from your Apple music library pretty much I'll explain that later but if you have a song here you can use it there as a ringtone or you can actually download from the internet so you can just go to Safari here and download a song straight from Safari because that's the that's why we need iOS 13 because we have a download manager here in iOS 13 so we can just download straight to our iPhone uh, without needing any extra steps so uh, that's all you need so um, a song in Apple Music or a song that you will download from the internet. So I got here at uh, this website, and as you guys can see, uh, this website right here is the audio library from YouTube. So all the songs here are copyright free. That's why I chose this website. So let's say I wanna get one of those songs. So for example, I'm gonna get here uh, this song right there called Canada. So then as you guys can see here on this website, we just have this download button very easily right there. So I can just hit the download button and then it's gonna ask me, uh, do you want to download Canada.mp3? Uh, one thing that is very important is if you're choosing a song uh, that is from the internet, get a song that is in MP3, okay? Otherwise it will be a little bit complicated later in GarageBand, okay? So I'm just gonna hit download and then it's gonna go to this uh, download bar whatever right here so then there you have it Canada and then it's right here if you want to see where is that click on the magnifying glass icon and then it's going to take you straight to the download folder there it is Canada okay so how do you actually create a song from that song we just downloaded or from the your Apple music or all, all you have to do now is open GarageBand and then it's gonna be landscape mode as I mentioned. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just to make it easier for us to see everything. And then it's saying welcome. So let's just continue, continue. This is the first time I opened it. I opened this on this device. Uh, all right, so all you have to do now is scroll uh, through these, like this menu here because we need to go to audio recorder, okay? So open it up and then we're gonna let it load very quickly, tap okay. And then here we have a lot of options, but don't worry, we're not gonna deal with that. All you have to do now is tap on this grid right here, okay, on this icon. As you guys can see, it turned into a microphone. And then we have this kind of a timeline. This is where we're gonna work uh, with our audio file. After that, all you have to do is tap on this little like loop icon right there. Seems like a ribbon with a loop. Click on, tap on this icon. And then you can select actually where you wanna take uh, this file from. So you can take it from uh, your Apple Loops, we're not gonna use that, from files, so we can actually select one of those downloads that we just made, or from music, so it takes from your Apple Music library. So let's get from files, because uh, then we can obviously use the one we just downloaded because it's copyright free. So browse items from the files app, that's what we need. And then it's gonna be right here uh, under recents. It's always gonna be there because I have just downloaded it. If it's not, go to browse and then look for the thing, okay? So recents, then Canada, I'm gonna select the song Canada. And then let's wait a couple seconds because it's gonna start downloading, it's there. If you actually wanna uh, select a song from your Apple Music, that's the tricky part. That's why I mentioned it's not always easy. Because if you go to songs, for example, you're gonna see that some songs are grayed out and some songs are not. The songs that are grayed out are actually the songs that I get that I got from Apple Music, that I just search on Apple Music and I hit save on my library. Those ones that are not are the songs that I actually downloaded from my computer 
to my Apple Music, to my iCloud Music library. So, uh, in order to use this as ringtone, we can only use, unfortunately, songs that are ours, that we have downloaded from the computer, so that we actually own. If it's songs from the Apple Music that we have just saved, it won't work, okay? So, unfortunately, this is true. Okay, now how do we actually create the ringtone now that we have this song here loaded up, everything is ready to go. All you have to do is tap and hold. So then as you guys can see, this song is right here. So just make sure to put it all the way at the beginning of the timeline as you just saw me do. Okay, so it's in the beginning of the timeline that will make your life much easier later on, trust me. Okay, after that, you see that this song is loaded. So there you have it, this song is right there. Uh, all you have to do is tap on this little plus icon right there, the top right corner. And then because we're gonna set it up as uh, 30 bars, meaning 30 seconds, the timeline will be 30 seconds long because as you know, ringtones can only be 30 seconds long so then there's no point going over that so tap on these uh, bars and then go ahead and make sure it's 30 so real quick done and then it's 30 as you guys can see so filled up the whole screen and then now we are set to go so then now we can actually create the ringtone but very important make sure to uncheck this option right here for the metronome because otherwise you're gonna have that clicky sound from the metronome if you are a musician you know what it is so just uncheck this option right there so then we're not gonna have issues with the metronome anymore okay this is super super important okay so now we're all set unless you want of course trim it if you want to trim it just make sure to tap on it and then go ahead and trim it to your liking okay so if you want to get like the middle part of the song or something just make sure to go ahead and trim it and then you can do whatever you want with the song all right and then of course before we save it we can just preview it we can always preview it with a with a play button right there so then play and then you can just preview it like as much as you want just to make sure this is the correct song and of course the preview button is also very important if you are trimming as I just mentioned so then you you can get exactly the bit you want like uh, the main part of the song for example so now that's done we can actually save as a ringtone so tap on the little icon right there on this little uh, arrow at the top left corner then we're gonna tap on my songs and then it's saving as you guys can see and then we have under my song there it is and then just tap and hold on my song and then go ahead and tap on share on the last option right there so share and then set it as a ringtone so set as a ringtone that's the important part so your ringtone length needs to be adjusted because it's only 30 seconds or whatever okay just hit continue it's just gonna auto adjust to exactly 30 seconds okay and then you can change the name of it and then I'm gonna put like uh, YouTube okay this I know it's YouTube I know this is the ringtone we created today together so then export and then it's exporting as a ringtone it's only gonna take a couple seconds but I'm gonna cut the video just because we don't need to wait so as you guys can see the ringtone has successfully exported I can just go ahead and hit OK and then I can finally go to my settings and set it up as a ringtone let's have a look so then let's go to settings and then we're gonna go to sounds and haptic ringtone and then ringtones YouTube look at that so easy there you have it YouTube as my ringtone and as we heard before here's the song here's Canada here's the song super cool right super super cool super easy and then of course that was my default ringtone and of course as I said in the intro you can set it as a text tone as well so then under text tone you can just scroll down and then you can select a ringtone as a text tone so then again you can just select it every time you get a text uh, you can get that uh, tone as well right here on YouTube so that's pretty much it guys as promised now you know how you can select how you can set absolutely any song absolutely any song as your ringtone or text tone for free without a computer without a jailbreak super easy just with the uh, just with the GarageBand app on your iPhone okay so if you like the video please make sure to hit the like button subscribe button click the little bell icon and also hit the comment box because I always answer to everybody so that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys in a couple days bye bye